Now let's take a look at a couple examples of pattern by table. So you want to browse to your examples folder and you're looking at 8-pattern-table and you're going to pick up the first part. This is a casting out of the, the bulldozer data set. This is a synchronous part. I'm going to zoom up on this area. What we're going to be patterning is that hole in that slot that you see there at the top of the casting. And we have a table that's defining the locations. So first of all, I'm just going to select the geometry because we are in synchronous. We need to do that first. And then we're going to go to pattern by table. The coordinate system we're using for our pattern by table is the one right here. And we want to browse to the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is the casting mounting holes. And what you notice right away is that the instances are completely off the part, uh, out in space. So what that tells me is the coordinate system that we selected is not the origin for the pattern. Um, the origin for the pattern is actually this larger bore. So new in ST9 is this explicit step in the quick bar then to select the pattern origin. Okay, so it's clearly not the coordinate system. The other option is by a selected key point. Our selected key point is the center of the bore. And you'll see the pattern shifts down to where we want it. And go ahead and accept that. And before you finish, you want to go in and unlink. Just uncheck the link box and close. So that what that does then is actually embed the spreadsheet into the document itself. So it's not in, going to be uh, linked to an external spreadsheet and rely on that spreadsheet to follow the part around to define that pattern. All right, so there's our pattern. So just to, to drive that point home, I'm going to open up that folder and you'll see the casting mounting hole spreadsheet. I'm going to delete it. All right. So I'm just going to zoom up on an instance of the pattern here. And I'm just going to do an inspection. I'm going to do a smart measure. I just want to go from the edge to another edge on the part. Check the angle. And I see that it's 87 degrees. So it should be 90 degrees. So I'm 3 degrees off. I need to add 3 degrees to the, to the pattern. You can see that those are along two linear edges on each side of the part. So there's four instances there on each side that need to be uh, rotated three degrees. So how would we do that? Well, you need to go back and edit the pattern. So we'll go ahead and click our pattern by table. We're going to open up the, uh, the instances of the pattern again. Okay, and I see that, you know, these 49 need to be rotated three more degrees. So in order to do that, I need to click the edit button and what that does then is open up this table in a new spreadsheet. So you can see it's got the part name for the spreadsheet. And this is just kind of a temporary spreadsheet uh, for editing this table. And the first thing I'm going to do is make this minus 52. Copy that to this, these four instances. And we'll make this a positive 52. And copy it to the other three instances on this side. go and then all I have to do is come over here and update what's in the table to those changes and allow it to update that pattern and then if we go back and inspect create another smart dimension You can see it is, in fact, now 90 degrees, so the pattern is up to date. So there you saw unlinking and also the new explicit uh, command for defining a new pattern origin. Let's take a look at one more example. So in the same folder, you're going to find the connector. This, in fact, is an ordered part. And we're going to run the pattern by table command again. 
this time you can run the command first and select the features to pattern the coordinate system and then we're going to browse to the terminal locations of spreadsheet Uh, clearly, once again, the origin for the pattern is not where the coordinate system is. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, come over here and set the pattern origin by key point. And I know that for my spreadsheet, when I created this spreadsheet, the origin for the pattern is this corner. Oop, wrong one. So you get the right corner. There we go. Now, clearly this is still not correct. And the reason it's not correct is because the location for the reference point for the pattern is wrong. Um, so in other words, in the spreadsheet, the dimensions are to this endpoint, this corner of this uh, first parent instance. And you can see that right now, parent or the first row in the spreadsheet is 000, which is here, which is not correct. So it's making a relative copy of it based on that distance between those two. So I need to change that. So I do that through the selected key point to define the parent reference point. And you get an, a warning here that the reference point option is changed to selected key point and the selected key point coordinates will be selected key point and the first row in the Excel will be ignored. So in other words, 000 is going to be ignored. The parent is going to be automatically populated with whatever key point I select. So let's take a look at that. So I select my, so watch the 000 here. When I click on that key point, it's defining the origin uh, or the reference point for the pattern. You're going to see that update to those changes. You can see the pattern now looks correct and notice that there is no 000 because that first row is being ignored. So if, in other words if I edit that spreadsheet you can see there's the first row and that's being ignored because that is the parent and it's at this location. So that's what we want so we'll just click close. And there is our pattern by table. If you want to finish off the model, you could use Part Painter. We'll set it to a dull black color and just pattern or uh, paint the faces for the rest of the pattern. And there's our connector.